Hello everyone, this is Latasha Blanton from the Real South Africa Travel and Tourism. And you're gonna have the opportunity to travel with Phil Scott to... Sunny South Africa. You guys are gonna have the opportunity to come to Johannesburg and you guys are gonna be coming to Durban. And we're gonna set it up perfectly. It's gonna be like a luxury experience for you guys. At the same time, you're gonna be getting some culture. And of course, you're gonna get an opportunity to talk to Phil, hang out with Phil, and get his views on Africa and South Africa. You're also gonna get an opportunity to explore the lifestyles here that are available in South Africa. And we're gonna do all that for you in an amazing 10 days. We do hope that you go to the website and book because we do look forward to seeing you here. Absolutely, our website is therealsouthafrica.com. Go there, scroll down, you'll see a picture of Phil and just go ahead and book there. So we'll see you here in what we like to call sunny, sunny South, South Africa. Africa. There was this video that, you know, I, I was sent, and I want to preface this video before I get started because I know how it is on the internet. Um, there's this woman out in Cape Town. Now, if you know anything about Cape Town, South Africa, you have a colored population. Now, in America, when we hear the word colored, we think about white water fountain, we think colored water fountain, right, uh, from our history, where they have a group of people in South Africa called, you know, colored people. And these people, what we would view as a, like a mixed race people, like, you know, they more, and they, what they kind of done is, you know, just from my, you know, what I know from history and just what even my observations is, you know, they kind of got with each other and they just kind of stuck with each other and kind of had that different class of people. So they have even the same accent that the whites have over there in South Africa. Um, now my experience, I'm just telling you my experience. Uh, my experience, you know, the first time I went to South Africa, they had, uh, you know, uh, a man by the name of Lincoln. Real cool, cool guy. Um, you know, he was one of our drivers out there in Cape Town, cool as ice. Um, they had another guy uh, that I met in Johannesburg. Um, he, I forgot that, that man's name, but I saw him even when I went back. I saw him at the same hotel. He was real cool too. And I said, hey, hey man, I brought my family back, bro. He said, yeah, oh yeah, it's great to see your family. Cause see, with the color population in, in South Africa, from what, at least what I see, is that some of them will say, man, I, I rock with black people. I'm it's a shoe, I'm black. Like that. And then some of them like, nah, I'm not I'm not black, I'm colored. So it, it's it's it, it's an interesting dynamic. You know, now they have a choice to do that versus if they want a rude awakening, come to the United States. The United States will let you know real quick what you are when you come here. They, they would, that's one thing I always tell you. The United States will never let any of you be confused about what they look at you as here. You get a thorough education, right? So I just want to like say preface this because I know how sometimes it gets in the comment section is that people see a video and they try to label all people that way. And, and I just have to do that. Unfortunately, I have to do that because it's annoying, right? But you do have a woman here out of Cape Town. And I was sent this video. So, so it's not like I, I, you know, I was sent this video out of Cape Town. This woman, what's she going to say about black people in South Africa is so ridiculous that even the, the white guy that's even asking her these questions is really trying to call her hand on how ridiculous she sounded. Let's go ahead real quick. Why must we vote for the ANC? They don't deserve our vote. So who are you voting for? Um... Even if I have to vote for the Dacha party, I would vote for them. Uh, I'd even vote for them, then vote for the ANC. i vote for anybody else but the ANC. And it's, it's, it's all colored people in Western Cape feeling like you feel? Most of them, the majority of the colored people in Western Cape. So that means that ANC will never get this province? We hope not. But what they're doing is they're blacking the back, they're busing the black people in from different provinces and bringing them into Cape Town and letting them vote in our area. How do they do that? They go up and they bust them in and then they give them little plot numbers or whatever and they go and register in certain areas and that is how they are able to vote in Cape Town. Right. Don't you like the ANC or don't you like the black ones? Um, I would say I don't like... Um, yeah. Be honest. You don't I don't like, like the black people. Why not? Just because. Oh. We were here in... It's like that. I don't like black people either. There you go. So it's just you don't like black people. 
I don't like black people. But you don't have a reason for it. Then it's just, then it's just pure racism, no? It's not racism. It is how we, we were here that way. And um, so you just don't like black people. Are they, are they so different? I mean, am I so different of you? I'm, is a black man so, a woman so different of you? Yes. In which ways? Enlighten me. They might have the education, they might have the money, they might have whatever. But the fact remains is they're still black. So what? So what? What? They're black. It's just, it's a... When, when, I was, when I grew up as a young girl, we, we had a apartheid era, and that is how we were here. The white man, then the colored man, then the black man. And, there's no sugar. White man, black man, white man, colored man, Indian, and then the black man. Now, if you want to do any kind of research on even some of the living conditions or how you know, people like her are living uh, in Cape Town, Look it up. They're not living very well. If you really want to see something, look up Cape Flats. Look that up. Boy, you're going to get a rude awakening when you do the research on Cape Flats and watch documentaries about it. Black people is really not your problem, ma'am. But, you know, she talks like you look at her hair on her head, you see that hair coming out of her head and everything, and it's crazy that she really thinks that she is not part of the group. She thinks that way. But once again, not all feel that way, okay? And that's why I want to say that. I treat people based on what I get from them, right? Now, there are some black people in South Africa that will tell you, yeah, man, some of them, I don't fool with them. But then, you know, what they were saying that you get, certain the ones that come from Cape Town, they said those got a special kind of, you know, but like I said, when I was in Cape Town, they treated me nice. So I can't say that was my experience with them, right? But at least with this woman, she's ridiculous. She's utterly ridiculous. Ma'am, if you were to see this video, I'm going to tell you something. You're not white, ma'am. And I know, and I've heard one of you say this before, because that some of you feel that it was better during apartheid. You wasn't treated, you was, because oh, in apartheid, she was right in what she said about how the classifications was, that black people was at the bottom. She's right. And colors was above them. She's right about that, 100%. But it's a new day, ma'am. It's a new day. Matter of fact, why don't you go tell them same people that you think you are? Why don't you go to the Netherlands and ask them, could you go over there because you're one of them? Watch what they tell you. They'll let you know. Europeans will really let you know what you are. But outside of that woman and, and her silliness and shenanigans, I enjoyed myself every single time I go to South Africa. I have a great time. When I went with my family back in March of this year, you know, we had a great time in the real South Africa. They put it together for me. It, it, it was awesome um, and, and kept us tied. I mean, it, from morning to evening, we were busy. It was great. My daughters loved it. My grandson loved it. My nine-year-old loved it. it. All of them just loved it. They, they couldn't get enough of it. Uh, it. It was an awesome thing. That's why we had no problem partnering with them again uh, for the tour. Uh, that's why I want y'all to, and this time they're going to Durban. Now, Durban got, you know, definitely is more black people there in Durban than it would be, let's say, Cape Town. Now, Cape Town, even though I had to look at it, because when I first got to Cape Town, even though it's beautiful, it's nice. But when I first got to Cape Town, I seen, I seen how many folks was over there in Cape Town. I was like, where have I landed? You know, that just tripped me out. I had to go on Google and look at the demographics. And, and, and yet, looking at the demographics, they actually were about 15% of Cape Town's population. And they actually got a white mayor in Cape Town. That freaked me out too, right? But that's what that is over there. But Durban, that's a totally different situation. Totally. So this trip is Johannesburg, which I love Johannesburg, and Durban. And the people that went last time didn't get to go to Durban. So if you went last time, then you need to go on this trip to go to Durban. Make sure that you uh, go in, in that email that we have and write them and say, hey, I'm interested. You can do a, a deposit. You can do a payment plan. Now you got the Christmas holiday coming up. I don't care what some of y'all say. People are gonna spend money for Christmas. I already know. I, 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 I'm not gonna tell you nothing. If you wanna do, if you wanna hold your money, you do it, right? But 
if you want to give somebody something nice for Christmas, give them a trip to South Africa. I think it'd be good. That lady, she just mad that, that she just struggling and, and the only thing she got is try to hold on to her identity that she think is worth anything. Well, everybody else in South Africa is doing great. Trust me, I've seen it. I've seen it. I've experienced it. Good food, nice people, great weather. I got to see all of that, right? And I'm going to tell y'all, I would not be a part or even say, hey, go to anywhere in the continent that I feel that's going to be bad for y'all. I won't do that because I don't want y'all writing me and telling me a thousand things that were so wrong. So give people that gift. Say, hey, I'm going to go ahead and pay this deposit, pay these payments, and, I, and take your wife, take your husband, take your kids uh, on, the, on the trip in the April. It, it's a great time. You got plenty of months to pay payments. Also, if you have not downloaded the African Diaspora News Channel app, you can also download that as well. As I said before, we need to make sure that we support the app as well. Um, having the app, in, in case anything was to happen or certain videos that we can't put on YouTube, we could put on the app. So make sure you get the app, you know, join us there, uh, become a member on our app. It's greatly appreciated that you do that. We want to thank all the people who have downloaded the app, who became members of the app right then and there. Uh, we appreciate you. And we got a lot more things coming to the app that's not going to be coming to YouTube uh, for sure. So make sure you get the app and, and that's the way you can stay tied in because we can get at least 10,000 members. You know, that's our goal in 2024 is at least 10,000 members on our app. And we at that point would be totally self-sufficient. We wouldn't need anything else or deal with anything else. Right? So I know we can get that all the people that watch. We need 10,000. That's all we need. And we're going to get there. I believe it. I'm going to call that into existence that we're going to get 10,000 members in 2024, you know, on the app. And we're going to make sure to, you know, hit the, that target. But, you know, we want to thank everybody for downloading the app and um, sign up for the trip. We're not going to see this lady. Trust me, this lady's wild. She's in squalor. I already know just the way she's talking. But sign up for the trip. We'll be over there having a great time, uh, eating some good food, being around some great people. It'll be a good time.